And you just briefly stated that basically your intellectual curiosity grew in the Oxford University tutorial system. What was it about it? It was the transition from the, the school method of learning, which is sort of learning facts, uh, to the university method of learning, which is learning how to think. And the tutorial system at Oxford, I think, is rather well tailored to that, because what happens is that you get sent off into the library for a week to read up on a subject in some detail, and you read up the original research literature, you throw away all textbooks, and you read up the original research literature, follow trails of references <laughs> at the ends of papers, and on a rather narrow subject, you become what amounts to a world authority as an undergraduate. A world authority only because you're the most recent person to have read it up. Um, so you, you, you go into the tutorial with any luck, knowing more than your tutor does about the subject. I say with any luck, and I mean it. Um, it probably doesn't always work out that way, but you, you get the illusion that you are actually up and abreast with the latest things that are going on in this relatively narrow subject. The, and also, the subjects you're writing an essay on are often controversial. They're often subjects where you read in the literature that so-and-so says X and somebody else says the opposite of X, and you have to make a judgment between them. So it's very different from textbooks where you're told what is the sort of received view. There is no received view. You, you read these opposing views, and as a very young undergraduate, you have the privilege of being able to write an essay in which you come to your own conclusion, having uh, read up the controversial, as it might be, literature. So I felt that the, the tutorial system, insofar as anything was the making of me, if there's anything, any me to be the making of, um, uh, I think it was Oxford University tutorial system that did it.